Okay, this week I'm coming to you from Toronto yet again, yes? And um, what I want to talk to you about this week is, um, uh, how do you like my hotel room? Isn't this insane? Look at the size of that that uh, that hallway. It's insane. Anyways, there's beautiful Toronto. Ta-da! You see it. Um, the thing that I wanted to share with you this week um, is a tip, is a special tip, and it's about stop reading your emails. Please, whatever you do, if there's one thing that you can do to save yourself a ton of time and a ton of effort, it's stop reading your emails. Yes, that's what I mean. Stop reading them altogether. This is what I wanted to share with you, is that we're accounting firms are so busy as it is, and there's just emails after emails, and we spend so many hours looking at emails, tracking emails, seeing who's called us, and that drives our day. And so if you could have it so that you didn't look at your emails and you only worked on the things when you wanted to, you'd get way more done. So here's what I've done, and it works incredibly well. I have a virtual assistant that actually handles all my emails, all of them, absolutely 100%. She goes through, and so what we did is we, we've pick, figured out a filter, a filtering system, and so these types of emails, I said, this is what you do with these, this is what you do with that. This is what you do with the other one. And you create filtering rules. It takes a little bit of time to get it used for them to understand exactly what to do. But once they figured it out, holy crap, it's amazing. And here's, and here's uh, a ninja trick. And, and if any of you, if anybody sends me an email and I respond back quickly, if it's not me, you'll see that it's my assistant. My assistant will respond back to some emails that she'll look at and she'll go, oh crap, this has to be responded to right away. I know Eric's not looking at his emails, She'll say, hey, this is Allie, Eric's assistant. No, you wanted to, it, I'm sure you would have assumed or would have appreciated a quick response. So I'm jumping on this right away. I see that you want to set up a time with them. Here, let's figure that out together right now. Boom, she gets it done right away. Anything that's specifically for me that I need to look at, she puts it in another folder called Eric to look at. And then there's a, a, a second folder, which is Allie's responded. So this is another subfolder. She takes it, if she's gonna respond to an email like the one I just told you about, she grabs it, she puts it into there, and she responds to it in that. So that that's the second folder. So what happens is when, the only time I go into my emails is when I decide to go in there. I don't look at my inbox, ever. Never look at my inbox. I only go and look at the folder Eric to respond, and I'll look at that folder, and she'll have put some emails that says, Eric, you're the only one who can respond to this one. I need you to do that. I'll look at the second folder, which says Allie to Allie responded, which I'll then be able to see, oh, who did she talk to? What did she say to them? And I'll go, okay, I'm up to speed on that, which is great. And then I'll just delete it when I, I know what's going on. And then the third folder that she has, and this is, this is part of the learning process, she'll go, need a filtering rule. So third inbox is like, or subfolder is need filtering rule. So then I'll go in there and it'll be some email that's come in. She's like, I don't really know what to do with this one. Then I send it to her and I say, okay, this is what you do with this one. I'll email it back to her and say, do this with it. I'm telling you, the amount of time that you'll save, and then you'll realize how much time is wasted actually looking at emails, astronomical. Like I can't believe how free I've been since I've stopped reading emails. And so, and here's the other ninja maneuver I just want to share with you is I get my VA and especially you'll have an like an EA in your office or a VA, have them text you right away. If it's super urgent, it has to be dealt with right away. They just text me. So she'll send me a text and say, hey, by the way, uh, and she doesn't send me a text. I know there's nothing urgent to look at. So I'll just, I, I won't worry about my emails at all, at all. Like I don't read them at all. It is so freeing. And I just wanted to share that tip with you because we've, you know, this world's so busy. We've got so much information coming in. If you can take this tip and apply it, it will be absolutely amazing. If you have any questions on it, please just send me an email. Send me a quick email and I'll, I'll let you, I'll email you back, let you know exactly how I've made this work for me so that you can free yourself up so you can spend time creating value for your clients instead of chasing emails and then having your emails show, making you do what you wanna do. Having, I'm sorry, having your emails dictate to you what you're gonna do with your day instead of you take control of your day and you do what you wanna do, which kind of reminds you of something else, which is I'm Eric Solbakken, reminding you that when you take back control of your business model and your emails, you'll take back control of your life. Stay tuned for more success tips to come.